Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, when Raina Molodinga was unveiling his runmate Mother Karua, he went further to do other three, four things. Number one, he mentioned some few people in his cabinet just in case he became the president and the speaker of the Senate. So I want to focus more on Western region because there's something I want to explain to you about Vihiga. <laughs> now, with the position Raila was giving to the people of Western region, he gave finance to Oparanya. That one is standing, it is okay. But when it comes to the issue of naming Marende as the next speaker of the Senate, that was not to appease the lawyer. The real truth here, Raila was simply playing smart politics to outwit anyone within Vihiga County as far as the gubernatorial race is concerned. Raila Odinga was trying to sort out the issue of Vihiga governor. <laughs> Remember, Marende was vying for the governor seat on DAPK party ticket. And he's not alone. We have Governor Otichiro who happened to be an ODM candidate in Vihiga County. Then we have Ernst Party is fielding uh, Agoy, who happened to be the Sabatia Member of Parliament. We also have uh, UDP Party, Ia Cyrus Jirongo, is also fielding Senator George Haniri to run for the Governor of Vihiga. And then we have the former pioneer governor, Akaranga, who is also again coming to vie for the governor seat. So that is the complex of Vihiga count politics. The only good thing Raila was doing here was to sort that. And I'm going to explain to you, but before, we go, uh, before I go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who top comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our channel to more viewers and our videos. Now, back to our discussion. In Vihiga County, the easiest way to win a governor seat or a senate seat is for you to have the Maragoli sub-tribe. Maragoli are the dominants. If you have them, you are good. You are going to win. Or if you are not having this Maragoli, then make sure that they are divided. Split them. Then use these other sub-tribes to win. I'm saying this because we have largely the Tiriki, the Banyore, and the Maragoli. There are three. But Maragoli dominates. And as well as speaking now, there was a big trouble with the ODM candidate. Number one, Otichiro has failed as far as performance is concerned in Vihiga. Vihiga has performed terribly. So chances of Otichiro losing was there. And it wasn't the situation. Eh? Otichiro is a, is a, a Munyore coming from Bunyore, by the way, Mohaya. And now, we have Marende, the former speaker Marende, who, who is also coming from Bunyore side. I think Mohaya was a constituency, constituency, but they split it into two. But they were both they are both coming from Mohaya. So they were already two, but coming from a small sub-tribe. Looking for the same seat. Then when you come to the Maragoli side, they again have two candidates. A Karanga and a Agoy. Then now when you go to the trick side, they now again have a candidate in the name of Senator George Haniri. So this was the dire situation, and with this you could not predict who can become the governor. But with the move by Raila Odinga to request Marende to withdraw his governor candidature and uh, promise him with a new, a new position, that has already helped ODM party to give Governor Otichiro an easy way to consolidate his sub-tribe votes first, that is Bunyore. Then from there, he can go further and have some people from 
the Tariq side and the Maragoli side. Because governors always have this administrative office, the structure goes on up to the village level. So because of that, it can help him to salvage some votes from the Maragoli and the, the Tirikis. But he will have fully backing of Bunyore because now Marenda who was splitting the votes is not there. This is a big achievement for Raila Molo Dinka. And this is where Salem Dabadi always fails. Now you have a goy, Alfred Agoy on ANC. What was the big problem with Salem Dabadi bringing eh? Uh, bringing who? This um, former governor, Akaranga, on table. Mdabadi could have convinced Moses Akaranga to come on table. He come from Vika, he understands who is more stronger between Agoy and Akaranga. And the simple, bring Akaranga to the party because seemingly Akaranga, Bado Akona Uzito Kule, bring Akaranga to ANC party, give him the ANC ticket rather than running on his uh, PAK party. That was enough to win that seat. Then make a goy maybe a rude kwa wempi, ama kwe running metiaki, ama end of senate. Or if not, then convince Akaranga to come to ANC party and give him an ANC ticket to run for the senate. And then a goy can have an easy sale. That could have helped Mr. Mdabadi. But because Msalia is, ignore, is ignoring the local politics in Vihiga, which happened to be his home. I think Raila Odinga is going to manage Vihiga politics, as simple as that. Because now, George Kaniri from Tiriki is running. Uh, Kaniri cannot win this election. Between Haniri, Moses Akaranga, and Alfred Agoy. In fact, Haniri can come through. It is going to be between Akaranga and Agoy to compete to see who will become the second to Governor Otichero. The Maragoli votes split two serious candidates. Then the Tiriki vote is going to be blocked by George Haniri. But to some extent, Tirikis are not comfortable with George Haniri because so far, Haniri has performed so much poor when it comes to development. Even as a senator, he was not even able to host a, a county super cup, just like Malala was doing, just having a, a, these games. He did not even manage to have one. So because of that, I think George Haniri is going to lose, but he can at least have some vote from the Tiriki, those who are feeling, let us have one of us. So in my view, I think Raila Odinga has played smart, and with the governor's seat, I can give him 60%. If a teacher works smart, he can win. If he joke around, then he can give a chance to Akaranga or Alfred Agoy. So yes, Kenya Kwanza have a candidate, Alfred Agoy. Single candidate, no problem. But there was a day I saw Karanga visiting William Ruto at Karen together with the, some footballers there. So what, what tells you Akaranga is simply supporting William Ruto in Kenya Kwanza. So in that way, already they have two candidates. And Akaranga is a serious candidate because he has once been a governor but not even endorsed with Musala Mudaba, he came with his own political party and he won that election. So it means Akaranga is a strong candidate, but he's going to split this vote. So Raila has scored very high in Vihiga governor seat. The only problem I see is when they bring in Godfrey Osozi as the Senate. The biggest problem was to hand over that ticket to Osozi. Osozi so you have the Munyore governor and ODM again bring in the Munyore senator. I'm sure Godfrey Osothi cannot win the senate seat because of that. And the way he has been abusing himself and David all alone, it is going to hinder him to get the Maragoli votes. Because definitely he will need these Maragolis to help him to win.
Some Tirikis were not happy the way he was insulting Musaila Mdabadi. The best thing you could have done is to keep quiet, do your campaigns, like just how uh, someone like Akaraga is playing his politics. He don't go to insult Mdabadi. Same thing to Tichiro. He don't insult Musaila Mdabadi. He's just campaigning for himself. Then he campaigned for Raila Mondo Ding. That make those people who are from Mdabadi to feel no problem and comfortably vote for him. So in that way, I think Osoth will lose, he will not get. But Raila, I can confirm he is right, the way he played his politics. Bunyon are going to rally 100% or 80% behind Otichiro. And these other tribes will help in. So at the end of the day, they might win this election. The only way Mudabadi can get it right is if he sit down with the, if he could have sat down with the Akaranga and the Agoi. Or if not, then he was supposed to convince George Haniri not to leave ANC party. Make him governor and give Agoi as his running mate. Or make him a running mate to Agoi, if really he can. That is how he was supposed to play this politics. So in my view, Mudabadi is getting wrong. Raila is coming to control him, even in his own village. I don't want to think about this, but that's my view. Again, the entrance of um, the entry of uh, Marende is going to help some people with some. It's going to help Raila Odinga within Vihiga to feel that already Raila is championing someone in his government. So that way, again, it will help him to get some few votes here and there, just because of Marende factor into this issue. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. What were Vihiga and other good Kenyans who understand Vihiga politics? And the rest of us, let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.